Hey ho, two more stories here from the relationship subreddit. One deals with a marriage being slowly ruined by the husband's parents. The other deals with a relationship with a 21-year age difference. Don't forget to like and subscribe. This story is titled, My 37 female husband's 38 male behavior and his kingy parents are wrecking our marriage. Long story, sorry. We have been married for 12 years have a girl 10. My husband is a very loving father and husband and I have fun with him always. He has weird parents, the kind that cling to their kids, the kind that creates huge drama if the son works a few minutes late or lifts his daughter into the air. In short, they are very possessive. To give a few examples, they visit us for a month every now and then, and plant themselves firmly on either side of their son in everything. There is absolutely no time for personal communication, and my husband fails to grasp this. According to him they are here for a month and I have to be the supporting wife and stay away from them. We initially had knocks on the door early in the morning, because they have missed their son already. There is no respect for privacy. If at all we ever have a laugh or go out together, father-in-law finds weird reasons to start a fight and grab attention. He keeps quoting his poor health and threatens death. Mother-in-law is another story, she's a control freak who likes putting me down always. She has to immediately take over the kitchen wherever she is. And oh yes, she invariably doesn't cook for me, ever. She enables the father-in-law, sometimes even encourages him to throw tantrums. Husband and I have been in a relationship for 15 years and married for 12 and consider each other best friends. So, where is the problem? It's how he behaves when they're around him. He never draws a line. They can humiliate me in front of him, carry on with crazy tantrums, but he doesn't tell them they are wrong. I am usually ignored in his presence, considered invisible. The conversation stops if I am in the vicinity, and in general all the shite in the world is dumped on me. His absence is another story, they turn into interrogating Nazis where everything from my personal stuff to the furniture placement is questioned thoroughly, and turned against me when he is home. They lie and twist everything. I have had conversation with husband regarding this behavior and have only encountered silence or denial. We are visiting them for lockdown, and the day right before we were supposed to leave, after staying for a month, father-in-law becomes extremely moody and says he is having a panic attack when the son is leaving. I, like an idiot, suggest we stay another week because we have flexibility. And within an hour there was this huge drama convincing me to stay back. They are very good at turning tables and work together as a team. What bothers me is that the son buys this shite. It's always the same set of answers. No, they aren't like that, I love you and you are my priority, they are just old, and worst, you are imagining. These answers set a sort of frenzy in me. I usually don't understand how someone can be so steadfast. I am going insane because I do not understand what is going on in his head. I am getting panic attacks, had a major episode last week, which was brushed aside, because I am at a loss as how everything is my fault. I don't understand why we are fighting and why I am being made to be the person I am not. Please internet people tell me where I am wrong, I have no one to turn to. Comment 1. I think it's beyond past time for some ultimatums and boundaries for you. Like, if you want to stay married to me, then you have to come to couples counseling with a licensed therapist with me. And, our bedroom is our bedroom. Your parents will sleep in the guest bedroom, or on a pull-out couch, or in a hotel nearby, or whatever. And, this month-long takeover of our home is over. No guests for longer than a week. And honestly, that needs to be just the beginning of the boundaries that you set. There's a whole lot of crossing lines they've been doing, without any pushback from their son, and that has to stop. The primary leverage that you have is that your husband still wants to be married to you. But you've got to have backbone and let him know that you aren't going to go on being married to him under these conditions. Comment 2. If I were in your shoes, I would no longer be around them. I wouldn't allow him to visit any more and I wouldn't visit them. He can go alone you can't force your husband to do anything and apparently he won't be convinced by what is right in front of his face. If your husband invites them for a visit anyway, just leave. Go stay somewhere else. Take your daughter too. Stay with a friend, a relative, a hotel, some combination. If your husband wants to spend time with and coddle his insane parents he can do it by himself. You don't have to tolerate them berating you nor do you have to tolerate being gaslighted by your husband. He was raised by these people so has probably been conditioned to think this behavior is normal and acceptable. He needs therapy to recognize it and draw healthy boundaries. Until he can do that you don't have to tolerate that crap. Comment 3. You are not wrong, the issue is that your husband is deep in the fog. 
Have you pointed out to him that this is not normal nor healthy? Maybe suggest couples therapy. Get him talking with an independent person who can echo you and the truth. Comment 4. It might be that your husband is accepting their behavior because you're their punching bag and he's not seeing the worst of it. I would decline future visits and inform him that you will be staying somewhere else during their visits. That also means that you will be absolving yourself of all cooking, cleaning, and organizing social activities. Your daughter is 10, she's old enough to realize this behavior isn't normal or acceptable. So at this point you should be able to ask your daughter herself if she would like to stay home or come with you while your in-laws are in town. Ultimately, I understand it hasn't happened often enough to be a problem, but it's high time you see a couple's counselor about this and start drawing some lines in the sand. He needs an outside party to tell him the way his parents act and his unfair expectations of you are not acceptable. Comment 5. Speak with your husband because it's time to decide what is most important for him. If he can't decide or doesn't decide you and your kid, then visit your options. Maybe a therapist, maybe a lawyer. Their behavior is crazy, and the insults were the point that he should have put a leash on them. This story is titled, I don't know what to do, things are not getting better between my boyfriend, male 47, and I, female 26. Please allow me to explain. We started dating when I had just turned 23, I was out of college and working as an assistant and we met at my job. He was funny, charming, had never dated younger before, and definitely wasn't predatory or anything like that. In fact, I think I pursued him harder because of his apprehension, but we ended up having a lovely start to the relationship. As time went on, things started to deteriorate. He has an ailment that prohibits intimacy from being fully enjoyable or frequent, which has been extremely hard for us. I tried finding him doctors, but it is so rare and most don't understand or have proper treatments for it. Additionally, last year, pre-pandemic, I wanted a career change. It wasn't too major, but it did entail me enrolling in a program and quitting my full-time job. Not only was he unsupportive, but he belittled the field I want to work in to the point where I was embarrassed to discuss it around him. Our whole relationship, he's had a hairpin trigger with me, and I'll literally double-check everything I do to make sure it won't potentially upset him. Like washing berries and putting them in a bowl, making sure the faucet is on the correct setting he likes, not closing the washer door so that it can air out after a cycle, etc. He will yell at me, will swear, and I find myself scared of the potential vitriol headed my way if I accidentally slip up. I have currently been out of school due to the pandemic for 10 whole months. It's incredibly isolating, depressing, maddening, etc. As I'm sure many similar scenarios have been for others currently, and every day I look forward to rejoining the program and starting up life, again. I tend to be incredibly optimistic, and he is the opposite. He's been in two major relationships before me, both ended badly. However, he still talks to his ex from his 20s daily. They're best friends. He doesn't want to be with her, he just wants the closeness of her without any actual responsibility of being in a relationship. They've known each other for like almost 25 years now. I hate this, but don't want to make him change this behavior for me. That's how you create resentment. And I understand having a best friend. I don't want to mess with their relationship at all. Last year, he got us a dog, the dog had behavioral issues, but I thought nothing of it, just something that required patience and care. He wanted to give the dog back. We broke up for a while because of our differing views. I ended up keeping the dog, he's my little baby and I love him more than anything. My question is, I don't know what to do. I love this man so much, my entire heart is full of love for him. I would, and do, do anything he asked, anything he wanted. I miss him when I'm not near him, I'm sad when he's sad, I want his happiness more than anything. But sadly, I am coming to realize I don't think he respects or even likes me. I don't know what to do. Do I break up, and move on? I cannot imagine a life where I don't see his face in the morning. He is everything to me. Please be kind. I am struggling so much. I know this post may be upsetting and I am already bracing myself for harsh words but please please try to be gentle with me. This is so hard. Comment 1. The old saying, it takes two to tango comes to mind. If his two prior long-term relationships ended badly, he's probably 50% minimum to blame. I have a feeling at 47, he's pretty set in his ways. I don't think much is going to change on his part. So, the things that he did to help end his other relationships are probably going to end yours. In your heart, I think you already know the decision you're going to make and to me I feel like it's going to be hard, but a breakup is probably necessary.
Comment 2. I once saw someone comment on a Reddit post saying, how you feel about him is less important than how he treats you, and I think this advice applies here too. This is not a healthy relationship, he doesn't respect you and is displaying toxic behaviors which he seems to have no interest in changing. A relationship where you have to have to walk on eggshells to avoid the other person's angry outbursts isn't a relationship, it's a prison. Comment 3. It takes two people who are both actively committed. I am a stranger who has no reason to lie to you, and I am telling you this straight out. A relationship where only one party is putting in the effort is 100% doomed and you have no chance at real happiness together. There are no miracles, no long shots, no, maybe I'll get lucky and our relationship will be saved by love alone. It's as concrete a law as gravity. You pour your heart into someone who doesn't reciprocate equals you are stuck with sadness and frustration that doesn't have an end point. If you stay with this guy, your future will consist of feeling afraid of his anger, confining your behaviors to avoid his angry outbursts, and hating his relationship with his ex. These things will never go away. The part of your heart that is hurt by it will never get eroded down enough for it to become painless. You know the answer here. Leave this relationship, give yourself time to breathe and grieve, and then open yourself to new possibilities. You deserve a relationship full of love with someone who treats you kindly, respects you as you are, and is just as invested as you. It's real and it's not too much to ask, it's the bare minimum. Don't starve yourself on this man's scraps any longer. Comment 4. So many red flags here. You may love him, but he's controlling, manipulative and not very compatible with you. I assume you're living rent-free so that may be a reason you don't want to move out. But the 21-year age gap and that fact that he's emotionally abusive basically dooms this relationship. You can read more about emotional abuse here. You've even broken up once. Another red flag. I think you should cut your losses and get out. You're still young and there are plenty of young guys out there that will be more enthusiastic to date you than this guy. Comment 5. This is going to be harsh, but look, we can see your post history. You're messing around on Reddit, trying to get someone to give you some special secret incantation that will turn your trash boyfriend into a decent human being, who doesn't treat you like shite. It doesn't freaking exist. There is no magic potion you can slip into his coffee that will disable the prick face lobe in his brain. You don't love him. You love some fantasy version of him. You love maybe what he initially was, what you think he could be if only you could fix him. But you are 26 years old, and you know better than to believe in childish fantasies. Break up with him. You will be fine. You will be free. It will shock you how much weight will lift off your shoulders. Grow up. Stop being afraid of being alone. Break up with him. Thank you so very much for listening. Please check out my other videos and like and subscribe.